Hey, curious minds. Welcome to Curious Media. Today, we are going to talk to you about some of the weirdest ways saints have been depicted in art throughout history. From the bizarrely comical to the downright creepy, you won't believe the strange ways religious figures have been portrayed over the centuries. So let's take a look at the top five weirdest depictions of saints in art. Number five, Street Bartholomew's Skin. The story of Street Bartholomew's skin is both gruesome and heroic. It shows us that in the face of extreme adversity, faith can remain strong. Bartholomew's faith was so strong that even in the face of torture and death, he continued to preach the Gospel of Matthew. In art, his skin is a reminder of the power of faith and the courage of those who choose to follow it. Michelangelo's painting of The Last Judgment, with its iconic image of Bartholomew holding his skin, has become an enduring symbol of the strength of faith. Street Bartholomew's skin is a powerful symbol of faith and courage, and it is an important part of the story of Christianity. It serves as a reminder of the power of faith and the lengths to which people will go to stand up for what they believe in. Number 4. The Dragon's Belly and Street Margaret The Dragon's Belly is a powerful and popular symbol of the power of faith, and Street Margaret has been an inspiring figure to many. Her story is an example of how faith can triumph over even the most difficult of situations. The dragon, with its vast size and ferocity, is a symbol of the forces of evil, and Margaret's escape from it represents the power of prayer and the strength of one's faith. Street Margaret is also seen as a symbol of childbirth and is often invoked to protect women during labor. Margaret's escape from the dragon's belly is seen as a symbol of the strength of women in childbirth and their ability to overcome any obstacle. Artists have been inspired by her story and her struggles, and her story continues to be told in paintings, sculptures, and other works of art. Number 3. Street Wilderfordis The story of Street Wilderfordis has been depicted in a wide range of art throughout the centuries. In some works of art, Wilderfordis is depicted as a young woman wearing a crown and a long beard. In some cases, Wilderfordis is even shown as a man, wearing a beard and a crown. In all of these cases, her facial hair is a reminder of her miraculous transformation and her ultimate sacrifice to remain loyal to her vow of chastity. The story of Street Wildefordis has been used to inspire a variety of works of art. She has been depicted as a powerful symbol of female independence and a reminder of the power of faith. No matter how you depict her, Street Wildefordis remains an enduring figure in art and folklore. Number 2. Lactation of Street Bernard The image of Street Bernard's lactation was used to remind people of the importance of the Virgin's nurturing of Jesus and the faithful. It was also seen as a symbol of the nourishment the Church provides its followers. The milk was seen as a metaphor for the spiritual sustenance that the Church provides. The image of Street Bernard's lactation was also used to emphasize the importance of the Virgin Mary in Christianity. These depictions of Street Bernard's lactation were quite popular during the Middle Ages and Renaissance. The most famous of these is probably the painting of Madonna della Seggiola in the Church of Santa Maria Novella in Florence. This painting shows the Virgin nursing the infant Jesus while Street Bernard kneels to receive the milk. However, it is important to remember the religious symbolism behind this unusual image and the message that it was intended to convey to the faithful. Number 1. The Dog's Head and Christopher the depiction of Street Christopher with a dog's head in art has a surprisingly complicated history. In early Christian art, Street Christopher was often portrayed with synocephaly, which is the condition of having the head of a dog. This strange artistic choice was likely due to ancient misunderstandings of the world and texts, which described far-off lands populated with exotic creatures. One theory is that Street Christopher was described as a Canaanite, and someone misread this as dogman, canines. Despite this interpretation, the depiction of Street Christopher with a dog's head has fallen out of favor in recent centuries. Street Christopher's connection with the dog's head was likely born out of a misunderstanding of ancient texts, but it has become an enduring symbol of his patronage of travelers. He is still remembered and honored today, even if his unique depiction of a dog's head has largely been forgotten. We've seen saints depicted in art in many ways, from the traditional to the bizarre. From the whimsical to the macabre, these depictions of saints can be found in art all over the world. So the next time you come across a strange depiction of a saint in art, take a moment to appreciate its creative beauty. Who knows, you may just see something that you haven't seen before.